Good morning students. How are you all? Hope you all are doing good and safe at home. Yes? Have you all had your breakfast, dears? Yes? Shall we start the session? Today we are going to see one new lesson in social science. I am your social science teacher in Vital Matriculation School. Civics. Today we are going to see Civics first lesson. Equality. What it is? Equality. Do you know what is equality? Did you hear this word? Anytime? What is equality? Equality is nothing but absence of any privilege to anybody. Absence of any privilege to anybody. Which means samatvam. What is equality? What is equality? Absence of any privileges to anybody. Which is, in Tamil we call it as samatthuvam. Samatthuvam. What is equality? Absence of any privileges to anybody. Today, we are going to see the learning objectives are to understand the meaning of equality, to know the importance of equality, to learn the different types of equality, to know the various articles of our constitution that have guaranteed equality. Today, we are going to Know and cover the topic of the first two things. Today we are going to understand the meaning of equality and also to know the how important is equality in our life. Okay. We already know the short meaning. What does equality means? Absence of any privileges to anybody is called equality. In Tamil, we call it as Samatthuvam. Samatthuvam, equality. See this diagram. Here is a conversation between one mom and dad. Okay, dears. What the dad asked? You look too tired today. You look too tired today? What the mother replied? Heavy work in office. Which means this mom is returned from the office. She went, to, she went for work and returned in the evening from the office. She looks so tired. That's why the dad asked mother... You look too tired today. You look too tired today. What the mom replied? Heavy work in office. Next conversation is Let's share house scores. Let's share house scores. House scores means house duties, which is uh, clothing, cooking. Okay, these are all comes under. House scores, wheat velegal. Let's share house scores. What the mom replied? Wow, that's great. What the mom replied? Wow, that's great. Which means she accepted his husband's reply. Okay? His husband uh, said, Let's share. Let's share the things which we do in the house. The responsibilities we do in the house is for everyone in the house, not only for the females or uh, girl in the house. The responsibilities or duties in the house are meant for 
both men and women okay dears all the duties in the in our house are mean for both men and women both are responsible for the duties in our house here we see the husband put the clothes in the washing machine yes also he started cooking to share the house chores with his wife likewise in our families too all the men or males in our house should share the house chores with the people in the family everyone in the family is responsible for the duties and responsibilities in our house okay everyone should share the things and house chores duties okay dears you children also you have to help your mom or dad in the household responsibilities okay dears now let's move on to the lesson the first topic today we are going to see about meaning of equality and importance of equality first the introduction first the introduction introduction is this clear dears introduction nature has made man inequal in color height talent physical strength etc and the natural inequalities can never be rectified what they say the nature has made man inequal in colors we know that everybody in our house also we see the neighbors we we have the friends right friends everyone is not equal your friend looks so dark or your friends look so fair than you or they look a tall or short than you their physical strength is different yes their talent is different you like singing but your friend loves to do dance yes their talent differs from one one student to another one one person to another person yes everyone in a, in this world are not equal everybody is different in their own way okay dears everyone is different and the natural inequalities it is a natural thing okay dears everyone is different which is a natural thing natural inequalities can never be rectified rectified means changing it to make it correct changing it to make it correct changing it to make it correct the meaning of rectified means changing it to make it correct okay dears then even the twins looking like a similar we all see the twins right in our life we see any one twins in our world, in our life okay even the twins twins means they look similar their face or body which looks similar okay dears which looks the same or not equal in their abilities but their abilities differ everyone in the world are different from one another also the identical twi twins are also different in their abilities man made inequalities on the basis of caste religion language economy etc can be rectified this what is a na nature made inequalities in men like tall short their talent differs their physical strength differs okay these are the nature made inequalities the man made inequalities are on the basis of caste religion which means hindu christian muslim likewise language tamil english malayalam kannadam and also economy etc can be rectified what is the meaning of rectified years changing it to make it correct 
changing it to make it correct it is universally accepted that people are differed in their capacity ability attitude etc but at the same time it is also accepted that they should be given equal opportunities for the development of their skills and talents everyone should give equal opportunities everyone should give equal opportunities for example when you are excel in dance okay but your friend don't know how to dance so we should not neglect her but also we should given equal opportunity you have to ask come and dance with me my dear and then you and your friend start dancing so that only your friend also no dancing so the opportunities have been given to everybody equally okay dears to everybody equally so the equal opportunities should have given to everyone in the society for the development of the skills and talents in order to develop the skills and talents everybody should give equal opportunities first of all you have to provide the opportunity to your friend first okay dears next we are going to see one two mark question what is equality here only we enter into the lesson the first topic what is equality equality means we already see absence of any privileges to anybody absence of any privileges to anybody equality means samatvam equality means samatvam equality is ensuring individuals or groups that are not treated differently or less favorably on the basic of specific protected characteristic including areas of race gender disability religion or belief sexual orientation and age equality means the providing we should provide the opportunities equally we should not treat them differently okay in order they they are uh, when you are a girl the other gender is a male a boy you should not treated them differently like they are another uh, gender likewise okay they are all humans we should respect everyone okay dears also we should respect everybody's thoughts okay their talents we should respect their talents ability and also we have to motivate them okay dears i believe everyone in vital matriculation school are treated everyone equally okay we should provide equal opportunities to our friends okay dears we should not encourage any gender inequality between our friends okay also the religious belief we should not believe that type of religion okay we should not uh, treat them differently according to their age okay we should respect each and every one in our society okay dears it is the meaning of this paragraph equality is ensuring individuals or groups that are not treated differently or less favorably on the basic of specific protected characteristic including areas of race gender disability religion or belief sexual orientation and age my dear chellakutis repeat after me or repeat along with me so that you have increase your pronunciation skill okay dears read along with me dears 
what is equality equality is ensuring individuals or groups that are not treated differently or less favorably on the basis of specific protected characteristic including areas of race gender disability religion or belief sexual orientation and age okay equality is ensuring individuals or groups that are not treated differently or less favorably on the basis of specific protected characteristic including areas of race gender disability religion or belief sexual orientation and age okay dears now we complete one two mark okay dears next paragraph according to professor lasky according to professor lasky what he says about equality means equality does not mean identify of treatment the sameness of reward it means first of all absence of social privilege on the second it means that adequate opportunities are laid upon to all what he say about equality equality what he thinks about equality is equality does not mean identity of treatment the sameness of reward okay we already see the first of all absence of social privilege what is the meaning of equality we already see absence of any privileges likewise he also say absence of social privilege second one adequate opportunities are laid upon to all everyone should give equal opportunities these are the prospective of professor lasky about equality okay dears next importance of equality importance of equality importance of equality this is the five mark question fourth roman letter first question you have to write this like this point to point okay dears first point second point third point likewise you have to write in in your test okay importance of equality first point equality is a powerful moral and political ideal that has inspired and guided human society for many centuries what is equality it is a powerful moral and political ideal the equality which is inspired and guided many human beings in our society for many centuries also okay for many years many more years okay so they mentioned centuries which means many more years okay equality is inspired and guided many human beings okay dears second point the concept of equality invokes the idea that all human beings have equal worth regardless of their caste color gender race or nationality every human beings in our society should treat everyone equal we already seen the last paragraph likewise the men should treat every human beings in our society equally unless of their caste everyone have different caste different colors different gender race and nationality everything differs from one human being to another human being we should not take that serious note okay we should treat everyone equally and respectfully okay dears third point the democratic ideals such as liberty equality etc are meaningful and effective only when they are implemented with justice the democratic ideals such as liberty equality etc are meaningful 
the equality and liberty should be meaningful and effective only epo only when they are implemented with justice they implemented with justice only they the equality should be meaningful and effective this is on five mark question yes so repeat along with me what is the importance of equality equality is a powerful moral and political ideal that has inspired and guided human society for many centuries second point the concept of equality invokes the idea that all human beings have equal worth regardless of their caste color gender race or nationality the democratic ideals such as liberty equality etc etc means and so on okay dears are meaningful and effective only when they are implemented with justice next one kinds of equality types of equality here in this lesson we are going to see social equality civil equality political equality gender equality let's see about social equality social equality means social equality means that all citizen are entitled to enjoy equal status in society social equality means that all citizen are entitled to enjoy equal status in society every human beings or every citizens in india should enjoy equal status in society there should not be any discrimination of caste creed color and race all should have equal opportunity to develop the personality and to complete goals everybody should give equal opportunities yes we already see we should treat everybody alike unless of their caste creed color race we should not treat with these type of inequalities okay dears in order to develop their personality and to achieve something in their life or to complete their goals we should give equal opportunity to others to our friends to our neighbors okay here the equal opportunities should given to every citizens okay it is called social equality the equality should be given to every citizens in the society or called social equality next civil equality this is the two more question third roman letter third two more question civil equality is enjoyment of civil citizens civil rights by all citizen there should not be any discrimination of superior or inferior the rich or the poor caste or creed this is the opposite meaning superior the opposite for superior is inferior the opposite for rich is poor likewise we should give opportunities to everyone we should what is the civil equality means we should give the equal opportunities to everybody of civil rights by all citizens okay civil equality means enjoyment of civil rights okay by all citizens there should not be any discrimination of they may be superior or may be inferior we we have the friends they are uh, rich they are very wealthy than us 
are poorer than us their caste or creed are different from us we should not treat everybody like this type of inequalities okay we should treat everyone everyone should enjoy their civil rights by all citizen is called civil equality civil equality means civil rights civil equality civil rights okay dears this is a hint to remember for your test or exams in the upcoming days okay civil equality civil rights civil equality the two more question civil equality is enjoyment of civil rights by all citizen there should not be any discrimination of superior or inferior the rich or the poor caste or creed okay dears third roman letter third two mark question so we read two two mark question and one five mark question here equal rights should be available to all the persons and nobody should be denied enjoyment of any rights rule of law is in force in england and in the eyes of law are all equal and equal treatment is given to all by the rule of law in india the same rule of law is followed everybody should give equal rights and rule of law the law is in everybody's eyes so that we treat everybody or we see everybody with equal and equal treatment we should give irrespective of their caste if they are superior or inferior or rich or poor okay dears we should treat everybody alike before the rule of law okay dears rule of law was advocated by a v dicey the british legal luminary next we are going to see political equality political equality this is a important five mark question fourth roman letter second question political equality all the democratic countries including india have guaranteed the political rights to all citizens what is political equality political equality the hint here political equality political rights everybody should given political rights to all citizens okay dears it is called political equality do you know what are the rights what are the politi political rights it includes right to vote everybody above the age of 18 should vote to elect the citizens okay dears everybody should vote above the age of 18 to select our leaders also we face minister election likewise chief minister cm elections likewise we have to vote for that okay everybody above the age of 18 should vote what are the political rights right to vote right to hold public office right to criticize the government citizens should have equal opportunity to actively participate in the political life here is a first point from here to here it is a first point all the democratic countries including india have guaranteed the political rights what are the political rights right to vote right to hold public office right to criticize the government these are the rights we should give these rights to every citizens in our country every citizens should have equal opportunity first point second point it uh, starts from here in india the voting right is given to all the citizens who has attained who has attained 18 years of age without any discrimination without any inferiority we should giving voting right to every citizens who has attained 18 years of age this is the second point mark it in your book
India is the first country to give right to vote to women from the very first general election. We have to feel proud of it, right? India is the first country to give right to vote to women in the very first election. India is the first country to give writing votes to women from the very first election itself which is held in 1952 which is held in 1952 in switzerland the right to vote to women is given in 1971 only but in india we give it in 1952 all person who has completed the age of 25 years can contest in the election of india which means every person or every citizen in india who have completed 25 years of age when his age is 25 they participate in the election okay dears this is the third point then right to criticize the government is also very important right and the people can express their resentment through demonstrations here comes the fourth point the value of the vote of the prime minister and the value of vote of common man in general election is same whose votes are same the vote of the prime minister and also the vote of the common man which means common man means we all are the common citizens of india the value of vote of prime minister and the common man are same before law okay dears everybody is equal before the law right so the vote of the prime minister and the vote of the common man is equal which denotes political equality which denotes political equality read along with me dears all the democratic countries including india have guaranteed the political rights to all citizens it includes right to vote right to hold public office right to criticize the government citizens should have equal opportunity to actively participate in the political life this is the first point second point in india the voting right is given to all the citizens who has attained who has attained 18 years of age without any discrimination here comes the second point third point any person who has completed the age of 25 years can contest in the election in india fourth point the value of the vote of the prime minister and value of vote of common man in general election repeat after me dears the value of the vote of the prime minister and value of vote of common man in general election is same which denotes political equality okay dears today's homework is you have to write what is equality to mark five mark question importance of equality three points okay and civil equality this is your homework okay dears you have to write this two mark what is equality and this two mark civil equality and one five mark importance of equality in your note and send it in our school group okay dears also those who have not paid your school fees kindly pay in our school and get your books immediately okay dears i am expecting all your answers you should write your answers neatly and clearly 
ओके डियर्स थैंक यू